When a female Anopheles mosquito penetrates human skin to obtain a blood meal, it injects saliva mixed with an anticoagulant. If the mosquito is infected with plasmodium, it will also inject elongated sporozoites, modal spindle-shaped asexual cells, into the bloodstream of its victim. The sporozoites travel to the liver, where they enter liver cells and rapidly divide asexually. This asexual division, which is called schizogony, generates the next life cycle form, called merozoites. The released merozoites invade other liver cells and enter the host's bloodstream, where they invade erythrocytes. Once inside the erythrocyte, the merozoite begins to enlarge as a uninucleate cell termed a ring trophozoite. The trophozoite's nucleus then divides asexually to produce a schizont which contains several nuclei. The schizont then divides and produces mononucleated merozoites. The erythrocyte ruptures and releases toxins throughout the body of the host, bringing about the well-known cycle of fever and chills that is characteristic of malaria. Plasmodium enters a sexual phase when some merozoites in the erythrocytes develop into gametocytes, cells capable of producing both male and female gametes. Erythrocytes containing gametocytes do not rupture. Gametocytes are incapable of producing gametes within their human hosts and do so only when they are extracted from an infected human host by a mosquito. Within the gut of the mosquito, the gametocytes form male and female gametes. The resultant diploid zygotes develop within the mosquito's intestinal walls and ultimately differentiate into oocysts. Within the oocysts, repeated mitotic divisions take place, producing large numbers of sporozoites. These sporozoites migrate to the salivary glands of the mosquito and from there are injected by the mosquito into the bloodstream of a human, thus starting the life cycle of the parasite again.